Hi, it's Caitlin and I'm here with my HHC slash Polished Gamers video for April 2024. Um, there are a ton of really beautiful polishes and these are two different shops that are happening in April, but because I don't have a ton of polishes for either, I thought I would just mash them together. So I will include details about how you can pick up the Hella Handmade Creation HHC polishes in the description and as well as the Polish Gamers, which is a different box shop that happens at a different time period. I will put that in the description as well. All the polishes that you're seeing here are exclusive to their respective shops for this month. And yeah, there's a lot of fun stuff to look at. So let's get into it. Let's start by looking at Bees Knees Lacquer Spread Your Wings. This is a continuation of their Belladonna series. It's inspired by the book called Belladonna. And this one is a pale pink pastel multi-chrome with aqua to blue shimmer and a scattering of silver light reflective glitter. So the minute I heard pastel multi-chrome, I knew I was gonna love this polish, but then seeing it and applying it on my nail, I fell truly madly deeply in love with it this is so beautiful it has an absolutely gorgeous formula it's so easy to work with the shimmer is out of control so i was happy with it in two coats because the shimmer pretty much obscures any visible nail line even at like one coat there's so much shimmer and it does definitely have that sort of ghostly look to it because the base color is almost the exact same as my skin tone and the other interesting thing is that the reflective glitter is very sparse in the best possible way and it just kind of adds a gorgeous twinkling to the nail but it's definitely not overdone and as you can see it's almost barely visible except when the light catches it so this is a perfect polish in my opinion i love it i feel like i could wear this forever and I'm curious if anyone agrees with me. It's just so beautiful, so shifty, and of course it's pink. So I'm already like halfway there when something's pink. Next up we have Cleona Cosmetics Toxic Jungle. And then this polish is a continuation of their series celebrating the filmmaker Miyazaki, who is obviously famous for things like... Oh my god, Spirited Away, my brain is escaping me. Um, my Neighbor Totaro, I think that's another one. Anyway, this one is inspired by the film, I'm going to pronounce it wrong, Nausicaa. I'm not sure, I definitely didn't get that right. But it's the Valley of the Wind franchise. So this one is a subtle turquoise to pink sh shifting magnetic pigment interlaced with lavender to lime shifting micro flakes and hints of ultraviolet for an intense sparkling effect. So I am showing this on this finger with the magnet applied. And then on my index and middle fingers, I am not magnetizing it. The magnetic effect is very subtle. I think you will be able to see it in the full hand shot, but it looks gorgeous whether or not you apply a magnet. So it's a win-win in any situation. Now this one, I did two coats unmagnetized and I magnetized at each layer for my ring finger here. And hopefully you can see the difference. It is very, very subtle. You can sort of see that stripe across my nail. It's like a more turquoisey stripe. Anyway, um, I did only do two coats on my index and middle finger, but in hindsight, I probably should have done three. But there is a ton of sparkle and flake action in this polish, so it distracts from anything, generally speaking. But um, after I noticed sort of like a bald spot. Anyway. I 
always try to apply the magnet even after I apply top coat, but you can definitely see the magnetic effect on my ring finger compared to the other three fingers. It just kind of makes all the elements stand out a little more, if that makes any sense. I think you can see it here out of direct lighting. But this is a beautiful polish if you're into blues, if you're into flakes. This is definitely one worth picking up. And it's just very sparkly and pretty. Here we have Sassy Sauce, You Light Up Our Lives, and this one is a lavender base with linear hollow and hollow micro flakes, and this one is inspired by Latanya, who I think it's Lacquer to Lashes, but she always does these fantastic live swatch videos, which I really enjoy watching, and this polish is inspired by her sparkly Crocs that have headlights on them. So this one is also a tribute to Latanya for her birthday because it's in May and she'll be able to get it in time for her birthday. This is such a beautiful base color and I'm kind of obsessed with it because while it is a purple, it's unlike anything I have and I absolutely love the inclusion of the hollow flakes. I'm also loving all of these lavender polishes. The Cleona Cosmetics mentioned a lavender to lime micro flake, and now this one is a lavender base. I'm here, always here for lavender. And this is beautiful in two coats. It has fantastic coverage. Top coat helps to enhance the holographic effect here. You can see everything dried down. And those hollow, hollow flakes are actually pretty holographic. My brain is not working today, so this is probably the worst voiceover of all time, but whatever. I always try my best, and my best is this today. So this is beautifully holographic, as you can see. Love the base color, and now I want a pair of Crocs with headlights. Here we have the first of two Phoenix Indie polishes available this month. First up is Spare the Sympathy, and this is inspired by Imagine Dragons and the song called Enemy. This polish has red to golden aurora shimmer and hollow flakies. I am going to show it as both a standalone polish and as a topper. This builds up very nicely. I will say there's a ton of shimmer, a ton of hollow flakes. And while the base is clear, it definitely can build up on its own in three coats. I do really enjoy these types of polishes from Phoenix because they are so versatile and I love how holographic the flakes are. You can see on three coats that this is as opaque as any other polish, and it does look better when you apply the glossy top coat because it enhances the holographic effect. And you can see here that the shimmer is very strong. You definitely get shades of orange and red and pink. It is very fiery, very pretty. Unfortunately, there was no sun, but you can definitely see the shifts in the shimmer. The other polish available is Oh the Misery. This is a blurple with violet to red shifting shimmer. And you can purchase this as a duo or you can purchase them individually from Phoenix Indie Polish. So 
If you just like one, you can pick up just one. And I really liked the color of this polish. It's kind of like a cornflowery blue, a little bit Cinderella's dress, but a little more purple. The opacity is really fantastic with this one. I think it's going to be opaque for most people in two coats. This does have a very sort of crelly like finish to it. And as you're going to see here, the shimmer is very strong. The shifts are plentiful and very beautiful. And then I'm going to show this with Spare the Sympathy over top so you can see the two together. And you can see that when you put these two together, you almost get an entirely new nail polish. Spare the Sympathy works really beautifully as a topper. It's super even with its coverage. And yeah, it's a fantastic standalone polish or topper. And when you put these two together, it's just a magical, shimmery, shifty, sparkly combination. It's very, very pretty. And because they both have sort of like a ready golden shimmer, it just really amps that up and looks phenomenal. Here we have Cuticula Peaceful Meadow, and Peaceful Meadow is a continuation of the Dreamlight Valley series. This one is so much fun and it's getting me excited for summertime. It's a bright turquoise base with green to blue and blue to green glass flakes, blue metallic flakes, and black flakes. So there's a lot going on in here, but it all works beautifully together. In some ways, this reminds me of a distant cousin of Battle of the Boxes, which was one of my favorite polishes um, that I featured in my favorites, favorite green videos. No, favorite greens video. And I don't know, there's something about this. I think it's the glow and the green and the turquoise. It's just so much fun, very bright, very visible on the nail, and has a fantastic formula this covered completely in two coats it's kind of got like a creamy base which helps with the opacity and yet the flakes still show up beautifully through the layers and it is completely smooth with one layer of top coat this is super fun and like i said really vibrant really eye-catching and just a fantastic polish. Here we have Rogue Lacquer Lost Boys. This one is a continuation of their Peter Pan theme, and this is inspired by the Lost Boys. This has a brick red base with micro orange glass flake and a splash of hollow. This is a really sophisticated shade in my opinion. I absolutely love this base color. It's really flattering and honestly, I don't see it a lot in the indie nail community, this sort of brick dusty red. So. I applaud Rogue Lacquer for giving us something really unique and beautiful, especially with the orange glass flake. It complements the base color perfectly and the hollow is very subtle, so it just catches the light and keeps it very classy.
You can see that this does dry a tiny bit textured because of the flakes, but one layer of glossy top coat does smooth everything out and provides a beautiful finish. This one's not too shifty, but you know, just for posterity, I've got to show it off in different lighting so you can see how the red tone shows up differently in each kind of lighting. Here we have Paint It Pretty Polish, That's All Folks, and this is a clever wrap-up for their Looney Tunes theme. It's inspired by Porky Pig, and of course, That's All Folks, which is like the classic um, closeout for the cartoon. And this one is a sheer light purple with an orangey-pink sparkling shimmer. This is so pretty in my opinion. I am completely obsessed with this color personally and I love how it is a light purple base but with the shimmer in there it takes it sort of over into pink territory. It's just such a beautiful sparkly shimmer. I absolutely love Painted Pretty Polishes creations and this is definitely skyrocketing to one of my favorites. I love everything about this color and I'm just a huge sucker for that sparkly type of shimmer. I think it's a beautiful look and this is a beautiful color. To say nothing of the fantastic formula, it builds up beautifully in three coats and while it does dry down a tiny bit dull, top coat glosses everything up. And here you're going to see how shifty this is. It definitely looks like Porky Pig. Um, I loved this theme from Paint It Pretty Polish. And I think she did such a good job with all the inspiration. And I am very excited for her next theme. I won't spoil it, but I am so excited for it. Here we have Garden Path Lacquer's Silly Little Bear, and this is their continuation of the Retro Toys theme, and this is inspired by Teddy Ruxpin, which I'm pretty sure my aunt had from my cousin growing up, who was, I think he's like 30 years older than me, and I'm pretty sure it was a Teddy Ruxpin. It talked, and it I liked it, but it also... I don't know, it was kind of weird. So anyway, this polish is a teal jelly base accented with slightly frosty red to orange to green shimmer and holographic micro flakes. So this has a really good formula. It's really opaque in two coats. I don't think anyone's gonna need more than two for this one. And I will just recommend painting in as straight strokes as possible. The brush strokes do smooth out and self-level on their own, but just to be on the safe side. And this has like a beautiful creamy formula. It does dry a little bit dull, so use a good glossy top coat. As you can see, even right now, index versus middle, it definitely brings everything together beautifully and you get this almost pearlescent finish. It's so gorgeous and unique. And here you can see that this one has plentiful shifts. The hollow is beautiful and yeah, the finish of this one makes it really unique to me. So I enjoyed that about it. Thank you. 
And now we're gonna look at the Polished Gamers box polishes. The theme for April is tabletop games and Cuticula Created Betrayal, which is inspired by the House on the Hill. And this is a violet to gold to green shifting multi-chrome with larger and smaller silver holographic flakes. This is a phenomenal polish. Um, I absolutely love colors like this. This is definitely one of my favorites in the video. I don't think I say that in my outro, but that was a miss on my part because I absolutely love this one. I love the colors and trust me when you, when I say that you're going to love the shifts, you will. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be as shifty as it was and I absolutely love the large and small hollow flakes because they really add dimension to the polish. This is also very opaque in two coats. Definitely use a good base coat. I don't think you'll experience staining if you use a base coat, but it is very opaque, so do use a good base coat and use a nice layer of top coat to help enhance the shimmer and the hollow. And here I've got plenty of footage of this one shifting around. It is so shifty and so beautiful. I am just in love with it. And I will say that the hollow in this one is pretty rainbowy. It does capture the sun in particular very beautifully. It's just so sparkly. Paint a Pretty Polish is also participating in the Polish Gamer Shop and their theme is roulette or their inspiration is roulette. This one's called Luck Never Gives, It Only Lends. And it's a turquoise green base with shimmers in purple, bronze, green, and gold. I think this has a really interesting base color. And the shimmer in here is very sparkly and shifty, as you're going to see shortly. This definitely has a jelly base, so you will want to build it up in two or three coats depending on your preference, but I personally like how it looks in two coats. You definitely get that jelly-ish effect, but it's just a really, really unique color in my opinion, and I love the shifts. Now this one does dry pretty shiny, but it's always best to use a glossy top coat. And you can see just how sparkly the shimmer is. It is so pretty. And last but not least for Polish Gamers, we have Rogue Lacquer Rails and Sails, which is inspired by Ticket to Ride, I'm pretty sure. Um, so this one has a really beautiful combination of elements. It has a clear base, there's black flakes, and then a whole bunch of different colored glass flakes which shift around. And I imagine you could use this as a topper, but you can also build it up on its own to a really gorgeous finish. This one is very rainbowy, and I love a good black and rainbow kind of combo. 
and that's definitely what you get here. I went in with a very thick second coat on my middle finger and was happy with the opacity, but on my index I went thinner. So you can probably do this in two or three coats depending on the thickness of each of your coats. But three coats should give you full opacity. And because of the flakes in here, you will want a good glossy top coat to smooth everything out. And you can just see how pretty and rainbowy, rainbowy this is. I, I really like this polish and I just think it's really unique and pretty. I mean, the base actually, I don't have the official description. The base might be slightly taupey, but it kind of gives that effect when you build it up. So maybe the base is taupey rather than clear. Anyway, it looks super cool. So my favorites for this month are the Bees Knees Lacquer literally obsessed that's like one of my new favorite bees knees lacquer polishes ever it's so pretty i absolutely love everything about it it just is gorgeous honestly if you like it don't miss it because you might regret it if you skip it and the other polish that stands out to me is the paint it pretty polish i absolutely love that one in the bottle it is like a magical pink rainbow and then on your nails it just looks equally as amazing so I am very, very into that and I guess very into pinks this month. So let me know in the comments what is on your HHC wish list for April or Polish Gamers wish list. Um, yeah, love to hear it. And hopefully you're having a great day wherever you are and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.